Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivan. In photography world, I'm known as Dreamframer. And today we're gonna be talking about one of the most important steps in preparation for image editing, calibrating a monitor. If you like this video, leave a comment, press that like button. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe now, especially if you're planning on selling your photos online because I'm making the most detailed guide on YouTube on this subject. Now let's move to monitor calibration. Monitor calibration is especially important when you work with white balance or contrast. You want that picture to look the same way on your monitor and somebody else's monitor. When you're selling pictures online, this is especially important because your images are going to go through the review process. And if white balance is off, your image is going to be rejected. There are two ways to calibrate the monitor. The first way would be to use your graphic card software. You can access this software on Windows, usually by right-clicking on the desktop and choosing Graphic Properties. On Mac, however, you have to go to Display and Appearance tab in System Preferences. Now, I can't really tell you in details how to use the software because every graphic card manufacturer has a different software, but it should be pretty straightforward once you access it. The other way to calibrate the monitor would be to use those buttons on your monitor. If you have a laptop, however, you will probably be limited to just graphic card software. If you have to combine both ways to get the best result, then I always suggest leaving the monitor in normal or neutral mode. Not vivid, not sport, not movie, not anything like that. Just leave it in a normal or neutral mode and play with your graphic card software. When you get as close as you can to the ideal result, only then try to fix it with those buttons on the monitor. There are many websites that can help you calibrate your monitor and I chose this one for you. When you click on the link that I provided in the description, this page will open and on the top of the page you're going to see um, quite a few icons. All these icons represent different tests and there are five tests that you have to perform if you want to calibrate your monitor. So these five tests are contrast, gamma calibration, black level, white saturation, and gradient or banding. To begin the test, you need to click on it, and then you need to read these instructions on the top. The instructions tell you what you should do and what kind of result you should get at the end. Basically, what this picture on the bottom should look like at the end of the test. For example, contrast test tells you that you have to see all these separate bands of lightness, basically all these separate levels of lightness in each color. So you uh, have to adjust your monitor to match this result or to get as close as you can. If you don't have a very expensive monitor, you'll probably not be able to get the, the ideal result, but at least try to get um, as close as you can and see all the bands or most of the bands in each color. The next test is gamma calibration. Again, the same thing, you read the instructions and then you try to get a good result from the picture down below. Most of these tests work the best if you move a couple of feet back so you don't see these uh, horizontal lines on each bar. Also try to look aside from time to time just to, you know, refresh your eyes a little bit to give them a break and uh, try to have a neutral light in your room because the color of the light can also uh, influence uh, your perception of color. In black level test you're gonna see 20 squares. Uh, the darkest one is almost black, the lightest one is white. Uh, you probably need to adjust your contrast and gamma on the monitor uh, to see all of them or at least most of these squares. Similar thing uh, with uh, white saturation test although there is no black square, but there are still multiple checkerboards and uh, the darkest one is kind of gray, the lightest one is almost white, you should be able to see all of them or at least most of them. You, again, you have to play with your contrast and gamma. Uh, gradient or banding has two gradients on top of each other and again you have to adjust your contrast and gamma so you don't see too much banding 
and also the horizontal line between these two gradients should almost disappear in the very center where you have 50% gray. This was unfortunately all I could do to help you calibrate the monitor because monitors and graphic cards have different settings and different software, so it's basically on you to figure these out. The next video will be about white balance, a very important stuff, so be sure to subscribe if you still didn't. Also, if you liked this video, press that like button, leave a comment, ask me a question, I'm gonna do my best to answer all your questions guys. See you in the next video, bye!